there's the obligatory get a toe out of the cut from the sergeant into the intracoastal. We're getting ready to blast off. Forecasted southwest winds, we got southeast winds, which is even better. You ready? I'm always ready. Surf. All right. Got a new camera on the board today. Hopefully, the microphone's working properly. It's light here now. I'm supposed to pick up. Buddy's here behind me somewhere. I just let it. I just turned him loose. I had to tow him out, we had an upwind stretch there, I had to tow him out of the ICW. Figure it's quarter to ten. I'm gonna try and get to the surf side or beach side or something, about 25 miles up the ICW. A little hole in the wall shack, the jetty bar, we'll go for a burger. Let's take the mile round trip, dark at 5.30. And if the wind holds up good, we can do it. If not, we can turn around any, any time. We're seeing what's going on. I'm hoping this uh, microphone's kicking okay because I haven't really tested it. Get around this corner, we'll pick up some speed. You can hear the surf. You see the black flag over here on the shrimp, the bait shop. You can just, the surf is cranking. I don't know if I've ever heard the surf that loud coming out. I've never heard the surf that loud coming out here. We did some pretty good drinking last night. Out on the dock, doing a little fishing, throwing nets. Hit the vodka good, the vodka lemonade. I know my stomach's a little chewed up. Oh, he's having a few complaints over there too with his gut. As we get around these corners and stuff, we should actually get some good momentum today. I'm looking to get some really nice shots with this new camera. Look at that, you can, you can see the whole damn thing. Is that badass or what? It's the DJI, the Action uh, 3. Ooh, we got some breeze up ahead we're gonna hook into. Buddy just got to it. See the line in the water. Now there's some locks. Nice more of a gate. <laughs> Between here and there, our destination. So I think there's two sets. And the idea is if the rivers flood, they shut them off so that it doesn't feed out of the ICW and it goes straight out to the Gulf. We haven't got a problem with that. The water's down right now, so we shouldn't have any trouble with that. We'll find out. I'm not sure I know what you mean. <laughs> you will when you get directly downwind of that camper. Oh, okay. Assuming <clears throat> we're about to get a good hit of weed coming from the camper here. Nothing else I want to smell come out of that camper. Oh, wait. There it is. Yeah, they got some good weed going. That's like 50, 60 yards over, too. Oh, yeah. Hats off to the guys in the motorhome. <laughs> it's free camping all along here. Here in the motorhome, cooling out, getting high, enjoying the surf. America, baby. see if we can work. Long day going 50 miles like this. <laughs> be 
Yeah, well, we'll have to see what happens. I think we're going to get around the corner. It's going to pick up. That surf is cranking out there. I don't know if you can hear it. But uh, I think we're going to catch some here shortly. I got high hopes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We'll get some speed here. I got faith. True excitement. It's kind of like the Blue Angels. <laughs> Be a little early for this, but oh, no, not, that's yours. Not early for that. <laughs> We're sailing. <laughs> so apparently Buddy's willing to sail us sail it back in the dark. That'd be fun. Get the moon up. See what's happening. And as the buzzard flies, we are eight miles out yet. Uh, we get, it'd be cool to get up in there. It'd be cool to make sure it's open. You never know down here whether a restaurant's open or closed on the coast. Even though it's supposed to be open. It doesn't mean it's open, especially on a Tuesday. But uh, that jetty burger would hit the spot because I'm getting pretty hungry. If they aren't open, I'll be a skeleton by the time I get back to back to the cabin. Buddy brought a big old pot of a, his wife Jane put together. I know it's beans and I don't know what kind of meat. I'm sure it's some wild meat he killed somewhere. And it's all sitting in the fridge in the pot. We throw that on the stove when we get back, we'll be chowing. Doesn't mean I don't want a burger this way, a Jetty Burger. We're coming for you, Jetty Burger. <laughs> it's a little under seven miles that way. It's right at Surfside, Beachside. Yeah. 
It's got a little bay. We'll get into a protected bay there for the uh, boat launch. It's your call. Yeah, you want to go? Want to do it? It'll be dark when we leave, and we we can do a spin. You ready? Let's head it back. All right. Yeah, this is a summertime run when we got hours, you know. That's yeah, it. All right, so we're making the smart call. And heading back because we're just going to run out of daylight here real quick. Figure it's 2 o'clock. Right, there's four hours we put into this. Woo. I bet we make it back in less than four. Let's see. It's, we got about four hours of usable light left. If we hold a pace like this, though, we'll be back just about dark. That's the goal. Well, we're four hours into a 10 hour sail. Things don't go well on the way home. We tangled with a couple of these tugs. We both ended up with damage on our boats. A long run in the dark. It was crazy. I'm going to make that part two because it's going to get too long. I'm going to let it go here. Thanks for coming in. I'll do part two up here in about a week. Subscribe and like so you don't miss the next sail because <laughs> I'm going to take you bastards sailing. There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. That dude's got a death wish.